You know, for once, I started prepping for an interview, and I sat down and I looked and I thought, 23 years, 23 years I've been sitting down with you like this what talking What was the uh, first thing that we you I was your first interview, first on deck for Goodwill Hunting. Wow. About 15 blocks from where we are right now. Oh, wow, that's wild. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And, uh, and I'll be talking to you guys in 23 years about the same thing. Look forward to it. Well, they're both yeah. very talented guys. I wouldn't be surprised in one bit. I hope they give me a job. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> we should all be so one. blessed. I'll tell you why it's so important to me. Because uh, crashing in my room that entire year of 1997, crashing in my room was my best friend, Joe Carnahan. No he, would, he would sell scripts, uh, try to get his first movie launched in New York and L.A., and he'd beat uh, the streets while I'm in talking to the likes of you. I love Joe. He's a good guy. I, I love doing Smoking Aces with him. And he's just, he's one of the biggest, uh, like, he's just, he's just an enthusiastic director. Like, he's such a supporter. You feel so kind of, like, taken care of with Joe. And uh, everybody who works with him loves him. Yeah, it's passion in a bottle. Fast forward, so on the set of A-Team, he had Bradley Cooper in that movie, and he was the first person to impress upon me that sober's better, and I'm four years sober now in front of you. Is me. that right? And nice. alcohol put me behind bars, so you can only imagine how much this movie is speaking wow. to me right now. well, congratulations, four years, that's pretty good. Well, congratulations to you, and thank I you. thank all thank of you for being in a project that, from the get-go, is so transparent. This is more than a movie. It doesn't hit the sports cliches, it doesn't hit the addiction cliches, it transcends that, and the way you guys are talking about all of this is so Thanks. important. Yeah, I would, I just, I, I think I would hate to see like a cliched addiction movie. I think any alcoholic or addict, like they're the last people that want to see some sort of like predictable, you know, preachy story. It was important to me that it be honest, real, and, and that it subvert those expectations, both as a sports movie, where you expect, okay, now this is going to happen, and as a movie about addiction, which have kind of classic tropes that you've come to expect. And this movie resists those in a way that uh, I think makes it more satisfying because it makes it feel more real. Amen. So now you got a middle-aged guy recovering, talking about how great this movie is. Now let's just talk about it as a movie. Why are people your age going to love this movie? Um, it's just a great movie. It evokes uh, emotion, which all great movies do. Uh, it has the basketball aspect, but also transparency into the lives of the people on the court and on the, on the sidelines. It's just, you know, it's a great movie. Anybody that appreciates film and storytelling or can relate to someone who uh, has an addiction or had, know someone who has an addiction, they could relate to characters in this story. So it's a great story. Why I, not? I think that people for, you know, my age will be able to, you know, love the film so much is because, you know, it deals with adults. You know, as, as kids my age, you always talk about, well, you better start working on yourself now because when you hit a certain age, you kind of get locked into your own ways and you don't change. And that's, you know, BS to me at any age. If you have the will and the mindset and the determination to change, I think that you can be able to do whatever you want to. And if you do make a mistake in life, you can be able to overcome those mistakes with the uh, determination and perseverance. And, you know, we can accomplish anything. And I think it's very relatable, uh, you know, not just from the sports aspect, but also from the life aspect of adver adversity. Hey, Amen. You guys crush it in this. I can't wait to see what you're doing in 23 <laughs> years. You are. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, man. Brilliant. Thank you. And you're all right. I'm all right. Yeah, he's the all right. See you in another 23. So proud of you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Thanks, guys.